All right, so we turn now to the latest fallout with the family at the center of the 2009 hit movie, The Blind Side. The lawyer representing Sean and Leanne Tuohy say they have receipts to prove they did not swindle former NFL player Michael Ower out of any money. Attorney Martin Singer spoke to News Nation's Chris Cuomo last night, painting a picture he says will prove the family's innocence. It's completely false. And when the proof comes out, everyone will see the truth. Uh, you know, numbers don't lie, paper trails don't lie. And when the proper time comes and we present the truth, I think it will be evident to everyone of what's going on here. All right, so the proof they say will reveal Ower's alleged extortion efforts. They claim the Super Bowl champ tried to shake them down for $15 million. So what now? Let's bring in civil and trial attorney and law professor Dante Mills. Dante, thank you so much for being with us. So now we're starting to hear the other side of the story. What is your reaction to this newest twist? There's a lot going on here. First of all, let's just break it down. What is a conservatorship? It's a guardian or protector who's appointed for handling affairs of someone who is incapable of doing so on their own, either a physical uh, incapability or mental. So you have to look at it originally and say, why do they have this conservatorship in the first place? He's a grown man at this point. Um, he should be able to handle his own affairs uh, unless there's some kind of mental uh, incapacity that we don't know about. Why do they have control over what he does? So now that that's established, we then turn to look at what did they do with that control? Were there some deals set up where they used his likeness and profited but didn't give him any profits? That's what he's saying. What they're saying now is we have our own money. We have our own money. We don't need to use your name or likeness to make money. We tried to help you. We wanted to protect you. And that's all we did. All right. So, Dante, the Tui family says, you know, that Oer got an equal cut of money from the movie. They also say he, quote, started to threaten them about what he would do unless they paid him an eight-figure windfall. And as part of that shakedown effort, refused to cash the small profit checks from the Tuohys. Um, so at the end of all this, is it going to come down to tracking the money here? It, you know, looking at bank statements, looking at any type of legal documentation? So it does. But first of all, the lawsuit is to end the conservatorship. He's saying, I want the ability to control my own name, my own likeness, my own money. Um, the byproduct of that is him saying, they used that to profit off of me and I didn't receive profit. So now that that's over, let's go back, let's do the accounting, let's see how much they made off of me and make sure that I made the right percentage or made the amount that I'm supposed to. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think the family should be open to showing their books and saying, here's the amount of money we made off the movie. Here's the amount of money we made off of other deals and here's what he received. And if he received enough, um, then their name is clear. But I think at the end of the day, he just wants this conservatorship over and to have control of his own destiny. You know, and Dante, I think, you know, people hear conservatorship, at least, you know, in recent memory, so many people think of Britney Spears and what happened with her family. There was so much back and forth uh, in, in that case. And it's starting in this case. How likely do you think this, this one is to go to court and end up being litigated? You hope it doesn't because it can get really ugly because what the family would have to show is that he has some kind of deficit, that there's some kind of mental uh, issue there that's preventing him from taking care of himself. They would have to air his dirty laundry. They would have to show examples like Britney Spears' family did of why she is not in control of herself or why she's not capable of controlling herself. So you hope just for the family's sake, you believe or you want to believe there was love there, that they loved each other and you don't want to see it get messy, you hope they just say, listen, okay, you're a man now, you want to take care of your own uh, finances and your own person, do that. But here's the proof that when we were in control, we did it the right way. Yeah, we certainly uh, hope this uh, will not get any uglier than it's already starting to get, yeah. as you mentioned there. All right, National Trial Attorney Dante Mills, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.